Hey yo, my planet goes our friends, Johnny5 alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today we are featuring steampunk themed coasters. We have a radical RMC to check out, followed up by another RMC Edison steampunk style, and last but not least, a mini park coaster inspired by Silverette's Volvera. Absolutely amazing. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Daily Planet Coaster videos. If you end up enjoying the video, smash us a like. And if you want to participate in the community events, the contests, everything that we do on the channel, check out our Discord as well as our Patreon as your support allows us to do more and more Planet Coaster videos and contests and we could really use more supporters. Links are down in the description below for every everything including today's blueprints and creations so let's dive on into the first one which is black thunder created by lj bushel one of our discord builders and here they say hi johnny this is my first blueprint submission to the channel i've been loving the spotlights i'm taking inspiration from a recent showcase of the steampunk co themed coasters black goal using a similar industrial style i have created black thunder a fast hybrid coaster which which is close to the ground features two inversions and travels through a mining themed landscape. The coaster is named after a coal mine in the US. I recommend viewing both day and night, though the ride itself is best experienced at night. I hope you enjoy and keep up the good work. Well, since you requested it, good sir, we will do day and night. So let's take a closer look. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As mentioned, it's an RMC. There's a look at all the stats if you want to see them. We're gonna start off in daytime and then switch it over to night as requested and we'll take a look at the uh, theming a little bit closer after
there we go ladies and gentlemen a really beautiful track layout i particularly like how you've spaced out the block sections we had a uh, just enough speed to make it up into that one and then from there the coaster actually does a nice a bit more uh, we have an inversion there and then we head on back into the final block section which is right up here with that said i believe you should be able to get an extra train on here it may be even oh no yeah so you can definitely fit three trains because this one leaves this one comes down loads up and then we have another one up here so three running on this at all times is definitely doable considering you put two block sections in and you've spaced them out in great spots as i mentioned so yeah very fun coaster design now the theming is very theme punk it almost has that in uh, factory industrial feel uh which is awesome and you got flames and stuff shooting out of these pipes it's it's really cool and you even have some custom supports or yeah i guess so you get some boards hanging up there little buildings in the back yes superb blueprint from what a builder jeez that's really good stuff and you still had another 1200 parts to work with so definitely efficient in your building uh, steampunk is usually very cost heavy in terms of part count and you got a lot of the steampunk themes in there so i mean for a builder lj bushel actually you know what lj bushel that sounds familiar i must have featured you last week the bad juju choo choo and i said keep building like this and you'll rank up in no time you also did the tokyo park and i messaged you i said every time I open it up it says failed to load the selected game I asked you to fix it and resubmit it because we really want to see your Tokyo Park and if we can get a closer look at that Tokyo Park I think that's gonna take you up to advanced uh, for sure between only three creations on your workshop you're showing expert levels of skill we just need you to make more so we can take a closer look at that but between this and the bad juju choo choo you're absolutely amazing so Keep, keep up the good work, LJ Bushel. I want to see more from you, and I want to see you evolve to Master Builder. So keep pumping these things out. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And let's jump into the next coaster of the day. Edison Steampunk Coaster, created by Haplo, one of our Discord Master Builders. He says... Well, you said you were low on steampunk creations and I just happened to have a very compact coaster lying around and decided to theme it in a steampunk style. All right, short and sweet. Here's a look at it, everybody. Another RMC, or no, wait, it's a wooden gnarler. What? That doesn't even make sense. This is not a wooden coaster. It says wooden gnarler. Am I crazy today? Well, apparently it's a wooden, <laughs> a wooden gnarler, which seriously doesn't seem right to me. But the uh, train is actually swapped. Oh, wait, or no. no okay, well, maybe I'm crazy today. It's a wooden coaster, apparently. Doesn't seem like it. Anyways, let's give it a ride. There's a look at all the stats if you want to see it, and let's get right on. Short but sweet. Uh, a pretty simple coaster layout. I would have liked to see a little bit more length on this. What do we have for 400 meters? So it's, yeah, definitely really short. But your theming is impeccable. I mean, you definitely have that steampunk thing. Uh, steampunk theme going on. Edison. It looks phenomenal. Boarding station's incredible. All these gears. I love it. It looks really, really cool. Now, I think I've... I feel like I've seen this coaster from you. Am I crazy? Okay, here's your Tesla coaster. It is different from the looks of it. But yeah, very simple and compact. Seems like you have that similar small 
wooden coaster compact v vibe going between a few of your coasters. And I thought we featured one from you, one of your parks, where we saw another one very similar to this. So maybe they are different, but uh, maybe maybe that's something, I guess, in terms of feedback to you, Haplo is to uh, work on expanding your blueprint or intertwining it a little bit more, getting a little bit more length uh, as it is feeling kind of samey to some of your other creations. But there's nothing wrong with a short and short simple nice coaster but it is fun to also challenge yourself to maybe push one out a little bit more keep pumping out these creations so i'm sure we're gonna see one from you soon so looking forward to your next creation haplo what did you guys think leave your comments down below and let's check out the last creation of the day gaff hold created by kick Two, one of our discord expert builders and here they say gaff hold is a steampunk themed mini park park coaster inspired by silverette's volvera with over fifteen thousand pieces in the park file, you will find a coaster as well as several detailed buildings. The coaster utilizes the four meter smoothing, so track view is preferred kick two. Boom. All right, Silver Rats Volvera. Big, uh, <laughs> big intimidating creation to try to uh, re reinvent in your own way or take inspiration from definitely one of the the craziest most detailed builds i've ever seen so let's take a closer look i wanted to say here we are at volvera ladies and gentlemen but in fact here we are at gaff hold and you can already see the inspiration from volvera if you haven't seen it i'm sure you have but uh yeah go check out silverette's channel he's i mean i actually remember him doing a telescope room I watched that episode and this is very reminiscent of what Silverette has done. I could definitely see the insane part count details. <sighs> Silverette's absolutely legendary. <laughs> and I think you did a good job at doing it in a micro way, in your own way. So, I mean, hats off to you, Kick2. Yeah, I remember when you first joined this community as a new builder, you've been tackling so many different things along the way, so many different projects, and uh, you're definitely taking inspiration from the best Planet Coaster creator in this community in Silverette. So let's uh, take a closer look at this floorless werewolf coaster, green across the board. Looks like we have guests on here and everything. There's a look at the stats. I'm gonna cut to it when one arrives. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, a very smooth design on that coaster track, using utilizing that four meter smoothing method, which uh, Silverout has also done tutorials on and inspired a lot of the community members to do the four meter smoothing ever since. I feel like for me, the only thing that the coaster and the experience was lacking was that interior design. I would like to see the coaster at least uh, go inside a little bit and, and explore those details, go in and out. But that's that's just a personal thing for me however the building details are absolutely amazing can we actually go in here at all doesn't look like it oh but the guests can that's interesting <laughs> but i mean you can see the part count on this is insane i think he said fifteen thousand parts yep there it is, 15,000. So definitely requires a lot of patience to get this many elegant details on this, but then you've also given it a steampunk twist. I mean, it has everything. It's beautiful. It's really a marvelous creation. And Kick2, you're really showing your versatility in this community to build various different things so far. I mean, we saw you work on that collab last. You worked on the, uh, the anniversary park. I think you worked on some other collabs as well, maybe even my birthday park. You know, you're just all over the place trying different 
different things and that's going to really allow you to grow a as a builder and you I mean you're already at expert so you've come a long way and you've this this looks like a, a masterful legendary creation right here so keep doing what you're doing kick to as well as the other guys that we featured in this episode lj bushel up and comer want to see more from you as well as haplo you just keep cranking that stuff out uh you are a master builder for sure what did you guys think leave your comments down below and that's going to do it for me here today thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video bye now